<laughs> I feel like for me personally, like hearing you talk about like possessions or, you know, things that like, I think that's a, a balance for me also um, trying to figure out like, because I do like certain things. Right. But then I think that like at a young age, I was working really hard and like I started to get a lot of the things that I wanted. Like I always wanted a Mercedes. So I got a Mercedes. And then like, I think that right there was like one of the things like, well, once you get it, like, do you really feel any different? Like, is your Did life? You? No, like I didn't. And like, even to this day, like when it's like something that I want, like, and I try to be like, really, it's hard because I get kind of like, like if it's like a ring or something that I really want, like mm -hmm. I, I want it. But then like after a while, like I'm just like, okay, like it, it's cool, but like I don't really like, I don't have that same excitement about it, right? Like it kind of fades. So I'm really trying to like focus on things that like feel good for me that like make me feel like I'm getting some type of um experience out of it, right? Like I would much rather spend money on a vacation because like those memories like I like really hold close to me and like I love to like look back at the pictures and just like think about how it felt and just like see. do you get the same feeling like compare going on a trip to the obviously you said the mercedes thing died off and you kind of didn't really like you know what i mean yeah but i'm sure the moment you drove off the lot it felt pretty fucking good right yeah and so compare that initial moment to a vacation would you say it's pretty similar different um i feel like the vacation is like more of or I think I just like experiencing things like meeting new people, cultures, things like that. So it feels to me like more um, like comparing the two, like getting like my dream car or whatever was like, wow, like I've made it in some way or I've like accomplished this. But then it didn't have like a feeling that felt like. I felt good about it, right? If that makes sense. Like, I didn't feel like I was getting anything out of it emotionally, necessarily. I wasn't a better person because of it. I I was just the same person in just a car, right? Whereas a vacation, like, if I met somebody or, like, if I experienced something with you, then it was just like, oh, wow, like, I challenged myself. Like, like our last vacation, like, when we went um, snorkeling and we mm -hmm. did all of that, like, that to me was like so um meaningful like i just felt like i challenged myself like i experienced something like this is what life is about like that it's like a more meaningful feeling than having my dream car and sitting in the car like you know what i'm saying it yeah. just it it's like an empty feeling but like at the same time it's exciting cuz you like always wanted that or like it's like an accomplishment what if you could remember it, though, like that moment? I, I don't think we always remember the moments, right? Like almost like literally a trophy, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not metaphoric, literally an actual trophy. It doesn't feel that good after a while. Do you have any trophies? Have you ever won anything in your life? Like competition-wise, cheerleading, anything? Yeah. Th they're cool. Trust me. I did I did uh, Kempo. Uh, me and Colin did uh, when we were younger, right? This is before I did MMA. We did a Kempo, um, and I trained my ass off for a fight with Colin, my brother, we fought like we were the only two people from like we fought each other. We were, we we trained at the same gym. Wait, was it kind of like martial art, art like martial yeah, arts? Yeah, kempo. It's it's a okay. form of karate. Yeah. Okay. And so we were wearing geese and we had headgear because we we're kids, but we fought each other and we had the longest round out of anyone because we kept blocking each other's punches and stuff. Um, and so anyways, we fought each other in the last rounds. Colin ended up winning. He scored one more point than me in like minute five. So, which is a long time fighting as kids. Five whole minutes is a lot. Yeah. Like street fights don't last five minutes. And I got second place and he got first, but we still got first and second, you know what I mean? And yeah. it felt good to get second place. And I had that trophy and it felt good. It, oh, it brought me like, I was like, oh, it made me like, it was humbling because I'm like, hey, I can get better and beat my brother. Yeah. Excuse me. But it also made me feel like I got second place. Like it's pretty good. Like yeah. there's a lot of people here. People came from all over the state, different places for this competition. And I felt really good about it. But it dies off. It, it's just a trophy that sits there. Right. I have trophies from basketball in high school for different things. Uh, and so they just sit there. They were so important in the moment because you're getting recognized and emotionally it means a lot. 
Right. But after a while, it does die down the same way that your Mercedes meant a lot to get it because it was a sign of accomplishment. You worked hard for it. You earned it. But it does fade. A possible solution for people. What if we remembered what it was like? It doesn't mean you don't have to keep it. But I don't think we, as human beings, we spend a lot of times remembering what it took to get there. Like, damn, I remember the feeling of getting that award. I remember the feeling of buying that car. I remember what it took to get to there. And I'll always have that, even if I sell the car or my, my trophies break or it burns in a house fire, or whatever happens, right? I'll have those memories. And I think those things are important for accomplishments wise, right? To yeah. actually enjoy it, which is proof going back to our original point that the money you spend on stuff doesn't matter. The memories do. The trip does because you remember. You don't have a trip. I can't look over at the shelf and see our trip to Hawaii, right? But I remember what it was like. I remember driving. I remember like all the stuff we saw and did. It was it was fun. Those memories will live with me forever. Forever. Yeah. But the memories of that moment when you bought your Mercedes doesn't. And it should. And it should. The memories that I have of winning that second place trophy, you know what I mean? It should. Those things should matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't need the physical trophy anymore, but I have the memories. And so I agree with you 100%. To use your money to make memories. And if it's on something physical, right, like these mics, I spent money on these mics, but these are memories. I'm always going to remember doing these podcasts. I'm always going to remember the music I made with them. I'm going to remember these moments with you, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm in, investing in something that's going to bring me memories. You know what I mean? These are memories are important. These are experiences. And when you're older, they go away. People lose their memories when they get older, right? Yeah. Some people faster than others. Some people don't lose them at all. Yeah. But you want to have memories, right? Yeah. Like you want to have some stuff stored up. You want to have moments and you want to have feelings and you want to have joy. And you want to have pain and you want to have happiness and, and you want to have sadness. You want to you want to feel what it's like to be lost in the world. You want to feel what it's like to lose a friend. You want to feel what it's like to make a friend. You want to feel what it's like to have the best friend in the world and to have a shitty friend. You want to know what it's like to be in a relationship, to get married, to have children, to have animals that pass away and then give birth. And then you have a puppy and then maybe you don't, maybe you move, maybe your house burns down. Maybe you build a house one day. These yeah. are all memories and you want to have tons in the bank because the older you get, the less you remember them, the less they're there. But if you have a lot of them, I have a feeling, this is my theory and I know I've been ranting for a while. I'm sorry. I have a theory as human beings, if we make memories, if we make joyful moments, if we make the best of our time, we experience life and we have tons of stories. Yeah. That helps our brain stay, stay healthy. It's, it's exercise for your brain. It's going to the gym for your brain. Yeah. And when you're an older person, you ever meet it? Have you met an older person? I'm sure you have. That's just on it. Yeah. And you're like, God, I want to be like that. That person lived a life. I guarantee you. They lived yeah. a life. Look at uh, your old boss. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He has stories. He lived a life. He's been to places. He's done things. Yeah. And the older he gets, those stories are going to be just as awesome. Yeah. And I think he exercised, exercised the fuck out of his brain. And now he's an older person. He's not even that old. But when he is super duper old, he's going to have all those things because yeah. he spent his life making memories and using his brain. And so that's my theory. I want to make sure I make memories and meet people and do all these things. And I think that will cause me to have a healthier brain as an older person. Yeah. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that clip, click on this link right over here to subscribe to this clip's channel. Or if you want to view the entire conversation, go ahead and click on this link over here to view the entire podcast. Catch you on the next one, guys.